Hello and welcome to yet another First Impressions Review of myself and Marta. This time we're having a look at Enki, which is currently available on Steam for £6.99. It was developed by Storm in a keeper, Teacup rather, and was published by Sadesco. Now this is basically a horror game that is randomly generated each time you play, as basically you're trying to escape from a serial killer, and the puzzles you have to solve and what you have to do to escape will be different every time. So even though I've obviously had a bit of a playthrough of this game and wasn't successful in escaping, it's going to be really different this time and I'm going to have different puzzles to solve. And apparently there's multiple endings and most of them involve you dying horribly, which is probably what would happen in a serial killer situation to most of us, let's be honest. So let's have a look at the options. Fairly basic as you can see, um, not really great, but to be honest you don't really need it. You got different language options, volume settings and all that. It's not great options to be honest, but it is an indie game so yeah. And the on only annoying thing that really irritated me to be honest is that you get this and no tutorial prompts in the game. Now this controls are fairly basic, obviously you can't rebind them. Um, but it's a little, little irritating. Anyway, let's begin. Right, we have 30 minutes, so first object of things is to get out of this room, and I'm going to guess this puzzle is always going to be the same. Yep. So literally, pop the pipe on there. Climby, climby. Pop the bone in there. And then climb out of the hole. That is only the first step of many though. The serial killer has like multiple layers of stuff. So, let's explore. As you can see graphically, I think it looks quite nice to be honest. It has quite a silky look to things. Um, and I think it works well for the theme of the game. Alright, let's have a look. I don't know how much is actually randomised each time, so... You'll see a lot of useless crap that you can interact with, like coffee cups and apples and stuff. I mean, a pair of glasses is not really going to be that helpful to me. What will be helpful to me, however, is a key. So that's the same so far Ooh, as uh, last time. Right, so now we are ooh, into the proper of this lovely... Uh, ooh, Jesus, lovely place. Now here's the thing about this game, what's actually quite clever, and what kind of caught me with my previous playthrough when I was kind of getting impressions of the game, is that obviously you've got 30 minutes to escape, and you have to use that time very wisely, as there are multiple layers, as I said, of puzzles that you have to solve. So obviously you are in a mindset of got to hurry, 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 but if you hurry too much you'll miss something vital and you won't be able to escape. That is literally what happened to me, I was running around for ages like what the hell do I do and it was literally just that I've missed this tiny object in one of the rooms and was screwed. I literally could do nothing because well yeah I had missed this item and I didn't even know that this item existed. So, let us... Hello? Uh, so, we saw that in there, so we need to find <clears throat> the solution to that particular puzzle somewhere around. Let's make sure none of these are important. I don't think they will be. They look like junk to me. Yeah, nothing particularly important. Hello. The atmosphere is really nice as well, like the music and the sense of tension from everything is really, really good, I have to say. Really, really good. Oh, some Illuminati shit going on down here. The music is really well done. Graf <laughs> Graphically, as I said, I think it looks quite nice. I think it fits with... What's this? 
medallion with engravings. That's probably going to be important, so I'm going to take it with me, assuming I can. Here we are. Um, I'll find a place to put this, I guess. Uh, yeah, this table will do. Uh, um, okay, just a pencil. What's this? It has been all day and that man be unchained. Our purpose regained. Blah de blah. Ooh, that's uh, always healing. Uh, huh. It's not creepy at all. Uh, fire to. Yeah, looks like we've got to put all the wooden nails back in that little creepy ass statue. Ooh, okay. I honestly didn't expect anything to happen there. So I really like the atmosphere, I'm not going to lie. The atmosphere, I think, works really well. Um, okay, I can't read that. Um, is that something? No, it's just a flashlight. A document holder. Okay, I can't even read that. Drop that. Keyboard, nothing important. Um, some cigarettes. Oh, what the hell? Uh, just more torn pages, I guess. Oh. Okay, that's another puzzle we've got to solve. And that's locked. Okay. Alright, so we've already used five minutes, but we've made a fair amount of progress. Oh. Okay. Um, okay, so down triangle with a line, up triangle, no line, up triangle, line, down triangle, circle in the middle. Okay. I doubt very much I remember that, but I'll try. My memory for these sort of things is not great. Where was that room? Not there. Not there. It was here. So... Uh... I think... Is that it? Did it work? No. Ah, uh, fun. Good old horrible memory. It's a friend. See, obviously, atmosphere is pretty key when it comes to horror games. If you can't have a good atmosphere, you don't have a good atmosphere, rather. Um, then it just not, it's not going to happen for you. And the atmosphere is made up, of course, not just the graphics, but the sound and the overall atmosphere that's conjured by the game. And overall, I think this game definitely puts you on edge. It was... Right? Uh... Hey! I did it! Woo! Uh... Ooh. It's not really healing. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. I don't even know what it is. So, not going to mess around with that. Overall, I like the concept of this game. Escaping from a serial killer is obviously something we've seen in countless films, but having to go through it yourself... Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just a Bible. Okay, am I going to need to remember that? I really, really hope not, because I'm not going to. Alright, let's... No. Alright, let's try and remember that there's a FMA type thing. Oh, there's also was a light switch, so I didn't have to be wandering around in darkness. Ooh, hello? Alright, let's just make sure I didn't miss anything. I think we're good for the moment. I think we're cool. Okay, that's locked. Been in there already. Um, as per usual in a horror game, your character can't, can't run for more than literally two seconds, which is always, always helpful. Oh yeah, I didn't even look in here, did I? I got distracted. Uh, is there a light switch? Yes. Cool. Right. Ah, another one of these. Another one of these medallions. Let's. Uh, where's my little table? There it is. 
Let's just pop that. No, I said let's just pop that there. Right. So overall, I really like the concept. I guess that's the guy who's trapped me here. And he's very cocky because he's just left his driver's license around. Um, oh, that that bear isn't creepy at all. Nope. Yeah, so as I was saying, overall, I like the concept a lot. It's pretty well executed. And of course, the randomization means that multiple playthroughs and none of them are going to be the same each time because of the randomization thing. I feel like there should be more in here than just a medallion and a bear and a driver's license. I guess not. Okay, that's just an ashtray, I'm going to guess here. Alright, um. Alright, well, we've got another thing, but we're still missing one. We've obviously missed something somewhere, so let's go exploring. As I said at the start of the video, this game is pretty cheap, it's only $6.99, and so far I would say it's definitely worth it. Uh, I read that already, yeah. It has an interesting concept, good atmosphere, well executed um, ideas, has a lot of mystery, and no one playthrough will be the same as I've already said, so it's just interesting to me. Ah, oh, this uh, this is probably going to be something. Oh, that goes into another little, another little room here. Oh, I'm back out here, I see. I see. And we've got a little table here. Oh, God. Alright, I'm going to take a photo of that with my phone because I'm never going to remember that on my own. I'm just saying, guys. I'm not even going to slightly pretend that I can remember that because I can't. Right. So we've got a little... Oh, I ran into the ball there. We've got a little shortcut. Where was that? There, safe. That's there, the door was just kind of blocking it. Right. Um, oh, don't we... Yeah. Oh, ah, shiny. Right, so... Distill our urine gold. So, let's see. Uh, distill our urine Gold. Woohoo! We, we did it! And a giant key. Okay. Um, I'm gonna guess this is for this old fashioned door. Oh! Hello! Um. Uh. Hello? Uh, I, a silver coin. <gasps> Jesus, scared the crap out of me. I don't know what this is for, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not even going to slightly lie, I don't know what this is for. I'm slightly concerned because I had this puzzle with the Jesus before, and I had more of the st I had all the stakes by the time I'd explored all the rooms. So I've missed one somewhere, or it's in a different place, I suppose. So I'm just gonna have a quick blast round, make sure I haven't missed it. As I said, the game encourages you to hurry, but you need to also be thorough while hurrying. Which is just something that's not actually that easy to do, to be honest. Um, because, as I say, if you miss one item, you won't be able to solve the puzzle. And that's you dying a horrible death at the hands of a psycho. Alright, let's just close that because it's kind of getting in my way a little bit. Right, maybe in here. There was very little in here. So maybe it's in here. Oh, there's his driver's license. I've already seen that. I can't... I'm going to guess that's just, yeah, pencils. I can't open 
these drawers. That's just a pencil sharpener. We have a bear. The bear is super creepy. I don't see anything else in here of importance. Alrighty, I guess we didn't miss anything then, at least not in there. So, we need five of those things, basically, to progress. Just want to make sure there's nothing else in here as well. Alrighty. Anything else? Mm. No, it doesn't look like it. Alrighty, uh, there's that tree again. Okay, there's a keypad and the symbols. So, nothing exciting. I just need the last of these stakes, I think. I don't know where the last one is, obviously. <laughs> I mean, it'd be a problem if I knew where it was. Maybe it was in the first room? It's possible. I did blast out of there a bit quickly. It's entirely possible. I missed it. Not in the hole, I mean. I mean, in here. So let's have a look quickie. A quickie little look. Okay, there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. That's locked up there. There's a bottle of bleach or something there, not really useful. Coffee, an apple, glasses, a box, not really what I had in mind. Cigarettes, an ashtray again. Um, okay, I'm officially confused. Hmm, where the fuck is it? Oh, Jesus, fucking hell, made me jump. <laughs> <laughs> it got me. It got me good. Wait. Oh, it's nothing. It's just a paper. We have things I can't read on it, which is always helpful. That door loves slamming behind me. It's got on me like twice now. <laughs> uh, I've only got 15 minutes left, so I really need to... Get my ass in gear. I've looked in here and it wasn't in here. I'm pretty positive it's not in here. It's just Oh, I have an electric fuse. I guess that's useful. I didn't even notice that was an item. Prime example again of uh, being thorough while speeding along. Oh, I missed this as well. Fail. Um. Right, so I've got four. One of them is the silver coin that I got from the Baphomet-looking creature. Okay, that's not useful. Ah, uh, where is your last thing? I do not know. I don't know where it is. I mean, is it in here? I don't think so. There seem to only be that paper and the disc thingy that I picked up earlier. Um. Right, guys, I've literally been around the whole entire building like multiple times and I can't find it, so I guess I'm blind. But either way. You've gotten a good impression of Enki, and I would actually really recommend it. It's a really interesting concept, well executed, great atmosphere, and of course the multiple playthroughs means great value for money, and it's a fairly cheap game as well. And it's always nice to see a horror game with an interesting concept, rather than just the usual, you know, array of jump scares or amnesia style games, which are great and everything, but there has been a lot of them. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.